Welcome back. Today we're getting all crafty with our chores. Jennifer Ackerman Haywood from the Grand Rapids Press and CraftSanity.com is here to show us how to make washing dishes a little more fun. Now I'm dying to hear how this is possible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm almost barely believing this myself. Yeah. <laughs> Well, these days you kind of have to trick your kids into helping with the dishes. Yeah. And, and this that, is a great way. Yeah, and you can make these with the kids, which is really great. Now, what are we making? Well, um, for, these are little dish scrubbies, and they're actually called dish nets. And I, I met the two women in Joann's. I met um, Ronnie McNeil and her mother, Mary Chapel, um, at Joann's. There's a major okay. sale when they had their, open, their grand, had the big grand opening sale. And, of course, when I hear, I see these people with this colorful netting in the next section here and I'm like leaning over <laughs> like, what are you guys doing like, over what, there? I'm like, so what are you making? Um, yeah and th these ladies were nice enough to invite me over um, a few days later and so I learned how to make these how and nice. basically what you use is just this nylon netting that you can it comes in um, every color under the sun that you can imagine it's really finicky though Okay. So when Mary uh, told me that this was a little challenging to work with, I thought, you know, I'm a crafter, no problem. <laughs> I went home and I was like, oh my goodness. Um, what I'm using is a cutting board and a rotary cutter. Mary cuts all this by hand with just a scissors. Okay. I recommend using the rotary cutter okay. and just cutting. You, you cut um, five and a quarter inch section and what I did is I folded up a whole yard and I've just been cutting slices off all, right. all the way down. So what you do then is you get, you just kind of un fold it here and basically you want to use clothespins for everything uh, to keep it together and you can make them all one color because you need three pieces for each but what I, I, I think like it's, it's funner ones. if you use more than one color so I, you make like a little sandwich here of three different colors and then crease it with an iron you know just quickly of course um, just go right over the just top go right of over the top okay. of it um, and Mary actually irons all of her netting before she starts and then what you would do is follow the crease here and I've kind of lost my crease since I did this yesterday evening but you just stitch over under down the middle of this and just pull it through and this I'm using this crochet cotton and a double okay. thickness of it Okay. And you're going to go all the way through you with go, that. Yeah, you go all the way through all the layers, as you can see. And you don't have to be real neat with this. I mean, it's, um, you can it's trim it up later, so it is forgiving. Um, and then, let me move over to this one. I've kind of stitched through here. Okay, so after you've stitched after all you the way through. you stitched all the way through, what you do is pull it. You pull it down. Okay. So you have kind of like, it looks like a bow tie. And then you wrap it around three times. And it's really amazing because Mary is in her 80s. And hopefully she's okay with me saying that on TV. Uh, it'll be in the she's still it'll, cooking. It's it'll good. be in the newspaper on Sunday. But <laughs> anyway, she is very impressive because she makes these so tight. And you tie, so you tie a knot, mm -hmm. and I do like a double knot here, and just, just do it again. pull it through again. And then what you want to do is just fluff these up. And this is the part where the kids can help because the kids might have a hard time tying the knot. Yeah. And then you want to just cut this down. Okay. And then just pull it through and. Mary trims her ends. When she gets to the sandwich part, she cuts the ends so they're all the same size pieces and okay. there's no folds. I go back later and do it. And just, you just kind of pull them apart. Just fluff, fluff it up. Them up. Yep. Just like that. Now, how long would these last when you're we're using them to clean your dishes? Well, it depends on how, how aggressive a, a washer you, you are. Oh. But, um, <laughs> I'm what, pretty good. I have years of experience. Well, what Ronnie was saying is that they do break down. I mean, they get to be, you know, pretty small. Um, but they, they use them, like, even when a little piece to scrub, like, okay. something really, um, you know, a pan okay. or something that's really grimy. Um, these are also great for removing bugs from your, your bumper yeah, of your yeah. car. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can scrub a bathtub, they tell, they tell me, and you can... Um, you know, use them uh, even as a shower, okay. you know, with the body, um, your, your soap scrub in the shower. Um, there are all kinds of things. So, yeah, it's just a... It's a multi-purpose fluff. Yeah, and then you can trim cool. them up if you want them to be real circular. You cool. can do that and uh, give well, one to article, your mom. Your article this, this weekend is on... It's on the two women that showed me this. Very and nice. we'll have directions online. Cool. Very nice. Yeah. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, and it's great to, to do this. Well, you can find more information on our website at WZ.